It has been a minute. Welcome back. Dirty Doll Trucking here on American Truck Simulator. Um, well, I've been trying for about an hour now to do something in the game, and it just it crashes. And So we're going to try something here. We're going to buy some refrigerated trailers. I've already done this once, so I know how to do this. I did this earlier today, and the computer crashed, and the, trailer, and the reefer trailers were gone. The trailers I had before are still here. So... Let's see what we got. Okay, we have reefer trailers way over here at the end. Of course, the most expensive. Um, well, I did add, I want to go back here just for a second. I added this trailer so we could do the low boy double. <clears throat> we could do that. And I also added, um, not that one, end dumper. I, ended, I think I added that one today. So we could buy those trailers. These are the different trailers we can pick up. But for right now, we're going to get a reefer trailer. We're going to come Okay. I've already done this, so I don't know why we have to do this. Now, if you go to this one, you're going to get the short trailers. This is the one you want to go to. You want the body, and you want the reefer trailer. Not the insulated, not the dry van. I want the reefer. So there you go. That's going to add another 70000 to the price. So there you go. Oh, I'm sorry. That's already in there. <laughs> okay, now why we have to have this trailer and i'll tell you why because if you get this trailer or this trailer um, they will not allow you to park it in california in other words you can't put in one of your garages in california so we're going to go with this one okay i just learned that we're going to go in here we're going to do a little bit of fancy schmanching we're going to go in here we're going to put some lights on this thing maybe if it'll let us get there a paint job uh, we're going to do a paint job first, and we're going to do the, ah, if I can find it here. I had a really cool one on here a few minutes ago. I just have to find it. Operation Gratitude. No, that's not it. Uh, got a lot of different trailers that we can get. I did down, there it is. I did download a bunch of these. I'm going to go through these, even though we did the Move Over America one. So hey, you can get these different paint skins or paint jobs for your truck. They call them skins in the game. You can get those. A lot of different ones that you can have. Um, pretty cool. Or you can have just the standard, these paint jobs, or you can go with the standard colors up here at the top. If we can get back up there, I have a lot of them on here. Oh, and what was that? North Carolina. Wow, I didn't know all the states were on there. Okay, I, I downloaded a bunch of these. So, okay, so that's where we are with that. Let's go and put some lights on here. I like a lot of lights. I like them on the Peterbilt 352 RV. I like them on my game trucks. We're going to put these on here. Okay. You're going to hear that once in a while because I have a very sensitive microphone now. I bought a Yeti X microphone and it is extremely sensitive. Okay, let's go in here. We're going to put in the Duracell tires. Okay. Put in the Duracell on the back. Oh. I hit the rim one, didn't I? I need the tires. I put in the Duracell. Okay, now we're going to do the rims, which is right here. And I like the oval. I like the Peterbilt oval ones. I don't know why. It's just kind of personal preference, I guess. We're going to go around the back. Let's go around the back of the trailer and see what we can do. Okay, we're going to go here. I like the, the rear banner. No, we don't need a rear banner. Rear mud flaps. I don't know if I like those or those. I think I'm going to use these. Okay, the bumper we're going to change out for newer lights, a little different style. Um, okay, and this one I think you're going to get a wide load banner, which we don't need on this, a long load. We don't need that on here. And then we're going to go back up here to the very front. And the only other thing you can change is this, and I'm going to leave that. So we're going to go ahead and confirm our purchase. And now we're going to go ahead and we're going to purchase that. And we're going to put it here in Boise, which is where I am right now, because the game updated once again. Okay. And now we're going to say, okay. And now we have a trailer. But I want to buy some more. So I'm going to go ahead and purchase these again. And I'm going to put one in Salt Lake City. Okay. I'm going to put one in Salt Lake City. So now we have one in Salt Lake City. I want to put one in, oh, got to purchase it. And then we're going to put one in Cheyenne. Click OK. 
yes. And then we're going to say OK again. And then we're going to purchase another one. We're going to keep doing this because I want a lot of trailers. I want trailers all over the place, you know, scatter them around. I don't want them all in one place. I have a lot of cattle trailers that I have up in the uh, northern Midwest part of this country, the central, or not really central, but anyhow, <laughs> yeah, up that way. Okay, let's go down here and put one of these in Sacramento. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, say yes. Now, I wish they had a way that you could purchase these and buy them in bulk and just, you know, click where you want them after you buy them. But they don't. So we're going to do it this way. Okay, we've got one in L.A. now. And we're going to go ahead and say okay. And then we're going to buy one for Phoenix. Put one in Phoenix. Yes. Yes. Okay. And we're going to buy one more for... Denver. Oh, Denver. Well, actually, we have one right up here. So, well, it'd be different. It would be different, though, wouldn't it? We're going to go ahead and buy one for there. Yes. Okay. We're going to buy one more for Albuquerque. And that's it. That's all we're going to buy. Okay, so we're buying trailers, as you can see. And I am in Boise. And I probably am going to go ahead. I'm going to exit out of this because we have enough trailers for now. Let me go see if we actually have the trailers. Okay. It says we have 33 trailers now. And I didn't check that before. So let's do this. Let's go in here and do a trailer manager. And let's see if we have the reefers. We do. Okay. The reefers are all here at the bottom. We have 33 trailers. <clears throat> we have the Billy Livestock. We have sliding tarps which I have 20 of the sliding tarps. I only have <clears throat> eight, nine of the reefers. Probably should have bought 10 just to round it off, but that's okay. Okay, so we are in Boise. We're going to go here to the map. <clears throat> well, actually, you know what? We're not going to do that. Well, I already did it. Go <clears throat> and click on use, and it will connect it to your truck. That way, you don't have to try to find the trail. We may still have to do that. I don't know. We might still have to try to find the trailer. Um, because I did this before and I went and drove all the way around the Boise property and there's no trailer there. You have to enter the trailer manager and click on and that will connect it to my truck. If not, the trailers that will that are out there will be out there will froze up there. Okay, if it's here so See if it's this supposed to have a pretty good size engine in it because this thing flies when you just barely touch the button. And it's not here. Okay, folks. Let's try one other thing. It could be here. It could be here. It could either be around the back. Or it could be. I don't think it's back here. Nope. Okay. So, if it's not back here, it could be out front, but I don't see it. I don't see it through the doors over there. So, I'm going to guess it's not here. Let's do this. Let's go back and make sure we have these trailers because there was something going on before where it kicked all of them out. And let's go to Trailer Manager. And let's do a map view. And I can go over here and click on you. It's there. So, okay. So now we are connected to it. Okay. Trailer's been attached. Now, if we go back to drive, it's going to show us connected to that trailer. Presumably. Okay. And we're going to be going the other way. Exactly. Okay. So if we look here, there we are. We're connected to the trailer. I didn't see it. Okay. Now, now that we're connected, Let's go down here and do this. Let's go to number three. Nope, number two. And let's go to lights. Okay, see the lights coming on? Okay, let's do a turn signal. Let's do the flashers. Okay, they're working. Uh, let's do the horn. 
I don't know. You have to be in the truck to hear that. Nope. Well, I don't know, folks. I don't know. Let's go to number two and go out here to the front of the truck. Okay. See the turn signal's working. Now the other one's working. Now we can check it. Okay, I don't know why that didn't work before, but okay. Okay, we got that working. Okay, let's try the lights. Okay. Let's try the high beams. They're working. Okay, I think we've done our pre-check. We've done our pre-check. Pre-trip. Let's uh, go see what kind of loads they have here. Let's go see what they got. See if they have any reefer loads coming out of here. Okay, we have a trailer. Dollar General, which... Okay. We don't really see any reefer loads. There's one. Well, there's one. Yogurt. That would be a reefer load. Uh, most of these are not reefer loads. Okay. Um, packaged food. That could be. I don't know what it is, but it's a packaged food. It's a long trip. I'm not going to take it. But Okay, so that's where we are, folks. We are, I just want to show you how to buy the reefer trailer and to add the paint job to it and all of that. And we did it. So we will catch you on the next one. It's a very short video. Sorry about that. I am busy doing other things called life. You know, life seems to get in the way of my gaming. And I just want to put this quick video out there to let you know I'm still around. I'm still here. I am going to do some more videos, hopefully sooner rather than later. Well, can we see ya. So how do you get a picture of it now?